G'day YouTube, real quick video to show, <laughs> show you how not to make the same mistake that I did. Um, I on eBay foolishly purchased an FX888 and I got a fake. Uh, so this is just a quick video showing you the differences between the fake counterfeit good and the real one and there's not a hell of a lot in it. It's, it's really lucky that I caught this one um, and thanks to eBay, you know, got my money back. But um, here's a quick video showing from the physical side how you can pick the difference and I've also found a little difference in the box. So um, yeah, here we go. Okay, so looking at the boxes, they've done a pretty damn good job of the knockoff. There is almost no difference in them. Uh, the printing is perfect, the sizes, you can't tell. The only thing that I could find in the box, you'll notice that there's some flex there. So there's indications that there's recycled paper in that. So that's the real one. This is the fake. This one doesn't have any of that, so it looks like this is made out of virgin fibre. This one has definitely got some recycled content in it, and you can smell it. If you smell it, it smells like cheap magazines. So, if you can't open the box, you can at least tell uh, from the box itself. So, another thing that's really easy to pick on the soldering iron holder, you'll notice that there's no metal insert. It's just die cast there. On the real one, there's actually a metal insert. So if we open him up, so there's the die cast bottom and a, a sort of tin plate bit pushed in there. All right, let's have a look at the eyes. Okay, with the hand pieces, there's very, very little difference. Uh, I've only found one key thing. They feel very much the same. The difference between the fake one and the real one is the fake one, this part here is definitely not silicon rubber. The uh, strain relief in there, it's, it's quite hard. It's giving a lot of resistance. On the genuine one, really soft, really supple. So it's definitely made out of, it feels like silicon. Uh, this one, a much harder plastic. So that's the only difference I could feel in the handpiece. The tips fit in the hand, they both feel the same. There's no difference that I can tell in weight. Maybe the genuine one is tiny, a little bit heavier, but nothing in it. The stations themselves are very, very similar. The only difference from the outside that I can find is the feel of the plastic. This one feels not rough, but not silky. This one feels really smooth, kind of silky. On the outside, now this might just be applicable to Australian irons. You'll notice that this one has a compliance marking with a C tick on it, and also the label is slightly wider. Uh, it goes almost from edge to edge there. On the fake, much smaller label, doesn't have a compliance marking. Uh, the other two labels here are bang on, like no difference in them. The, the casting on the plastic is is near on identical. Uh, there's there's just nothing in it. Um, one one little sign. Uh, if you notice, the cord goes in here. Uh, there's the screws that are holding the saddle down. This one has sharp pointy screws holding the saddle down, while the genuine one has flat flatter bottom screws. So. Um, you can see that from the outside, but they might just change that. That's easy to fix if they, uh, they get their act together at the counterfeit shop. Um, but the plastic work is, is identical. The cases will actually swap, so the outer covering will swap between the fake and the real. So, you know, they, they could even be using knockoff, you know, or even the genuine dies. They really are bang on. So just a little hint there, the screws, because they're flattened rather than pointy, you can see there. The real obvious difference is when you pull the, the lid off. Now, on the genuine article, it's got a daughter board with the fuse on it there. And you'll notice that little chip down there, the little square package, is a sort of Haco specific IC. Um, so they can't get that off, get that with the knockoffs. In the knockoffs, uh, you'll see. It's using a much bigger package and it's got an Atmel part, so it's not using the custom part, uh, it's using an Atmel knockoff. Also, you'll notice that this one is definitely using an Atmel because you'll see ICSP headers there that are labelled. 
in the same position on the genuine one, you'll see the factory programming interface, but it's not labeled uh, what the pinouts are. So I actually like the fake one better there. And in terms of safety, there's not a hell of a lot wrong with it. It's, um, it's still fused. This one's got the, the fuse on the daughter board. This one's got a little fuse down there. Quality of construction, you know, everything's nicely heat shrinked. Everything's cable tied. Everything's out of the way. The cord is held on securely. Um, so, you know, it's it seems to be safe. It holds thermal capacity reasonably well. So, as a fake, it's it's a bloody good one, but it's still a fake. Um, you'll notice that the earth is all you know nicely crimped, screwed. There's nothing unsafe about that. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with it other than it's not what I paid for. Okay, hopefully with that you'll be able to make sure that you've got the genuine article. Um, eBay. If you do buy it off eBay and you do get a fake, um, eBay have a, uh, a no return fake policy. So if you contact eBay and ask for a refund, um, they'll give you your money back and you are not allowed to return the fake because if you return a fake, they'll just sell it to someone else as genuine. So, um, you know, if you get shafted with eBay, get onto eBay and, um, you know, there's a lot of buyer protection with that and that's why it's a reasonable place, but I wouldn't probably buy an FX triple eight off eBay. Um, there's just, you know, the counterfeits are too good and there's too many of them. It's easier to buy a counterfeit than it is to buy a real one. And, um, yeah, this is one of those where it's worthwhile going to, you know, your Element 14s or an authorised hacker distributor. You'll pay 50% more, but you'll get what you paid for.